Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is calculate the inbreeding coefficient of individual A, assume that none of A's ancestors are inbred. In order to solve this problem, everything you have to know is this formula where f of uh, A in our case would equal to uh, sigma of one half in the power of n. And in our formula, n stands for the number of nodes between uh, individual that is inbred and common ancestor of his parents. And who is going to be common ancestor of his parents? Only individual i in this case, because individual h in the first generation and j wouldn't be... Um, common ancestors to uh, say individual B uh, only H would be a grandfather but J wouldn't be genetically related and the same we can say about individual C J would be a grandfather but H wouldn't be genetically related to this person and uh, now if we would make connections, direct connections from individual A to common ancestor of his parents, we would find a number of nodes. And this is going to be first one, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And we do not count individual A, our uh, proband for whom we calculate inbreeding coefficient, we only start with uh, one parent and end with another parent. So we got five here. So that uh, means that uh, in our calculations we would have one half in a power of five. And this would give us inbreeding coefficient of uh, one over 32. Or this is going to be answer A. And also, uh, you may wonder what this sigma stands for, or this is sum. Sometimes, uh, in different examples, we may have not one loop, but we may have two and even more loops. And in that case, we have to uh, find number of nodes in each loop, calculate uh, uh, this number for each loop and then add them together so this is going to be inbreeding coefficient uh, for example compare such uh, pedigree where we have female male they have uh, two children uh, female and male so this uh, most likely what we can see in uh, breeding of animals and now these siblings would mate and would have a progeny so what would be in breeding coefficient of this person here we can uh, make two loops the first one would be from grandmother and this grandmother going to be a common ancestor of parents of this individual and of course we have here another individual who is going to be common ancestor of parents of this individual and this is going to be their father so we may have a cc two loops here so in this uh, case our calculations would be as follows one knot two knots and three knots we have in the blue loop so we would have uh, one half in the power of three and we have also one two three nodes in the second loop so plus one half in the power of three and here we are going to get one eight one eight here so one eight plus one eight would give us one quarter or we also can say that this is going to be 0 0.25 or 25 percent 
all the answers would be the same. So if we see that um, our problem uh, parents has only one common ancestor, that means we have only one loop. And if we would see that there are two common ancestors of the parents of the problem, in this case we have to add probabilities for each loop in order to find inbreeding coefficient. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.